Okay, I'm already seeing bigger potatoes, so that's a good sign. Well, don't look now, but it looks like the potatoes that we planted in containers are getting just a little bit competitive. Guten yardening, everybody. In one of the first videos we put on our YouTube channel, we talked about diversifying your potato portfolio. In other words, planting crops in multiple different mediums, styles, locations, etc. And we told you at the time that we had planted in four different styles. Well, in this case, we've already harvested our root stout potatoes. We've harvested from our long half native soil, half compost bed, and we've harvested the potatoes in our blue 50 gallon containers. And now, we're gonna harvest a lot of what we've grown in smaller pots and grow bags. But this is where the competition comes into play. Now we're gonna jump right into the harvest of these potatoes, but first, this is the competition. We want you to guess which one of these pots and then guess which one of these grow bags has the most potatoes inside. Now we're talking about quantity at this time and not weight. So your guess in the comments below would be two numbers. The first number would be for the smaller containers. The second number would be for the larger containers. So if you really believe that container number four of the smaller ones and container number one of the bigger ones will have the most, you would write four comma one. All right, pause the video. Put in your guess, and then we'll harvest. All right, did you get in your guess? I hope so. We're gonna go ahead and get started with small container number one. Now, as we harvest, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the diversity of how we plant and why. But first, I should note We've got something growing in our potatoes. Do you know what that is? We didn't intentionally plant it, but it must have come up from the hay that we put on top as a mulch. These are soybeans. Well, there you go, some soybeans. Extra, extra growth that you don't expect. So as we plant, we don't just plant one growing style. And the reason we don't is because of what you probably saw in our root stout harvest. We were a little disappointed by that harvest because of the size and the scope of the harvest. And so when we plant in diverse ways, when we plant in multiple ways, what we find is that we have a much greater likelihood of actually succeeding in what we're growing. So what we're noticing in this small container so far is small potatoes, once again seem to have a little bit of that potato scab on them so i don't know if it's something in the soil that's going on here but we definitely are seeing that issue all right some smaller potatoes so far but if you guess number one we're not out of it because i just got started things I'm noticing here is that these potatoes are kind of mushy so they're not full they're not stiff and I don't know what could be causing that you can see I can sort of squeeze it here that's not good This small container succeeded in giving us a small number of potatoes. 
but let's give it a count and we'll figure out how many were in pot number one. So we're gonna keep our 24 potatoes off to the side and go for number two. Container number two. This is our harvest from pot number two, 17. So we're behind number one, which was a 24. This is a 17. Number three of the smaller containers. All right, ooh, that's a big spider. Look at that. You see it right down in here. I'll try to zoom in in the video when I go to edit. The biggest potato so far potato number three. As we start to see the quality of the harvest here, we start asking questions like, is this similar to what we've had in years past? Is it more? Is it less? And if it's less, what could we have done differently or what did we do differently in the past? It's possible that it's the type of potato that we planted. It's also possible that it comes down to the amount of watering that we did. And there are so many factors that go into this. So here are our 19 potatoes. All right, container four. All right, oh, some more bigger ones. It's a good start. For number four, we have four. All right, let's keep going. Now, one thing I'm noticing in here is that there aren't any worms, but there are lots of pill bugs. My, these pill bugs are everywhere. Only 13. All right, we're off to container number one of our grow bag. So these are much bigger than those smaller containers. And so the potatoes should have had more room and therefore should be a little bit bigger than the others. So let's see if the results are similar. Woo! Okay, I'm already seeing bigger potatoes, so that's a good sign. So I'm guessing there's going to be bigger and more just throughout. Well, that's nicer. So what we're seeing here is definitely better than the previous containers, but is it really as much as we'd like? So again, it goes back to how can we improve this in the future? What do we need to keep a closer eye on to make it better? So that's clearly a better harvest than anything we got in the smaller containers. It's still not a huge harvest, but it's much, much better. So this is number one, 43. Grow bag, number two. For number two, we have 41. Grow bag, number three. Bag number three, 38 potatoes. And after all that, we're down to our last grow bag, grow bag number four. Let's see what's inside.
there it is for number four. 40, 40 potatoes. And the results are in. In addition to growing some soybeans, the winner of our small containers by quantity, not by size, is container number one. And if we move over to our grow bags, the winner in terms of quantity and not necessarily size, although in this case, it probably is both, is container number one. Containers one and one, one. Did you guess that? I don't think I would have guessed that. If we were going to judge our entire harvest by this single crop, we might not be all that impressed. After all, there are not a lot of bigger potatoes here, and in general, it's not overwhelmingly large. But we diversified our potatoes, so we're not just reliant on one style of growing. And really, it's like our friend over at Geeky Garden's YouTube channel says, you can turn anything that's a disappointment into something far more rewarding, and the meals that we're going to have from this are not going to be disappointing at all. In fact, I'm quite confident as to how delicious they're gonna be. There was no animal damage, no insect damage, and just in general, they look beautiful. So we're gonna enjoy these after we let them cure for a couple weeks. Again, if they last that long with us. And we hope you get inspired to do something similar. Try not to depend on one style. If you have the space, branch out, diversify, and you'll find that even the smallest crop doesn't seem that underwhelming anymore. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like. Leave us a comment and let us know how you did, guessing which ones. I guess because I said four and one, I was half correct. Remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly remember, when you're with us, you're good to grow.